All right, welcome back. Thanks for checking this video out. I'm actually kind of curious how many of you out there watching this know what that intro to what song it was and by who. Um, probably most of you don't know it. Um, it's not good, it's not bad. I'm just saying you, you probably don't because it really wasn't a mainstream hit. Uh, but the guy who wrote it was actually part of a huge mainstream arena band. Um, that's still out there today. Unfortunately, you know, he, he's not with the band. It is what it is. Uh, but he had a great and still probably has a great solo career. So that was actually uh, Made in America by Richie Sambora off the Undiscovered Soul album, which came out in 1998. So I'm kind of dating myself here because I can remember that. Um, matter of fact, I have it on CD still here. Got it. Um, bought this right there. Uh, more than likely, I bought this um, when it came out. I first heard it on WDHA here in New Jersey on 105.5. And then I probably went to CD World on Route 10 in East Hanover to, to, you know, to get the physical copy of it. So uh, good times when you're able to go to the CD store and you find something you want, you're looking for. It's always fun. So what's the big deal about this? Well, why am I talking about this? Um, you know, I'll probably do these types of videos every so often about, you know, influences. Uh, we all have our influences, people who inspire us, you know, to pick up the guitar. And I know the big names are out there. You you, you can pick from tons of them. Eddie Van Halen, Hendrix, Vi, Satriani, Eric Johnson. All, all of them are great, um, you know, for sure. This one, for whatever reason, I don't know if it was just how the, the vocals were with, with the song arrangements, how his guitar playing was, his tone, but man, when I put this in for the first time, because the song that you heard on the radio was actually track number two, um, but it was track number one, Made in America, where you hit it, you know, you put it in, in track one, and it kind of hit you right in the face. It was only just a couple of chords. thought was just it, it just sounded great it was something about that that progression that, that just really caught my ear um and it was like I, I put it on and I listened to the album cover to cover and I still do today um so for sure Richie Sambora um with this album of Undiscovered Soul from 1998 um was certainly an influence on me in, in, in some regards um and I think it was more of the rhythm playing than some of the leads um, just really it flowed. It sounded good. Uh, his voice with, with the playing, I think it was probably cause he was probably using a Strat or a Telecaster for most of that, you know, and I, I, I've got a similar guitar. So I think I was able to kind of get the tone just like you heard here. So you definitely got to, you know, check some of that out. Um, but though, though, those are things I've kept with me over, over time. Now, again, an influence doesn't mean you copy them note for note and you've got to do exactly what they do. An influence means there's something that you're taking out of that. It could be one piece of a solo. It could be just a chord progression. It could be a chord. And I think with this with this album, again, with, with the Undiscovered Soul um, by Richie Sambora, it was the tone of the guitar. There was just something about it that I really dug. Um, the songwriting, I mean, it, it, I, I think the lyrics are pretty deep. And if I remember correctly, and going back uh, early 2000s, I saw him on an interview, and it might have been when he was still, um, he was definitely, he still was with Bon Jovi. They were doing, it was something like VH1 Behind the Music, and they're chronologically going through, you know, the careers of everybody, and they got to this point, they talked about it briefly, and uh, apparently the album, you know, didn't do as well as he had hoped. There, he had an album before this, um, and he's got some music after that as well, but, um, you know, because it wasn't poppy enough, I guess, it just, it wasn't a success in the eyes of certain people. Uh, he mentioned, I, I think if I quote it correctly, you know, he was laying down for more of a soulful and blues inspiration on his end. And I thought it was, it, it's a great album. And, and and for all those elements to come together, there's all these little things I picked from it that really became, um, I don't want to say part of my sound, but things I would think about if I'm writing some licks, if I was just playing, if I was looking for chords, uh, progressions or looking for just tone out of the guitar you know depending on the pickup I want to use um, you know things like that it just made me think so again you had all these big names out there but man you know you've got somebody who maybe isn't a household name um, with certain people I really think you know this is one of those 
um, guitarist you need to check out to, to know a little bit more about them. Um, if you're learning to play or if you play and, and, and you know, or you've been playing for 10, 15 years, inspiration and, and influence come from all different angles. Um, so you've got to, you know, check out certain things and just, you know, see if something that appeals to you. And that's why I want to do some of these videos, just to kind of shed some light on some of those players that that, that mean something to me. I've, I've taken something from um, and, and just pass it on to you. And if it's something you've, you've never heard before and you like it, great. I mean, that, that, that's cool. One other person, you know, kind of, you, you know, you get another fan, basically. So, um so, and again, I'm, I'm talking about two songs on this album, basically. But uh, again, some of the songs on this album that were just like unbelievable were um, Harlem Rain, Undiscovered Soul, If God Was a Woman. Um, you know, that just, you know, some of them. And the whole album, cover to cover, is great. Some that I like more than others. The ones that I mentioned, I mean, Harlem Rain is just acoustic guitar and, and some of the vocals that are just very haunting. Undiscovered Soul, I think probably one of the best ways you can close out any album with that type of music and, and lyrics. Um, so definitely check it out. I mean, you can, I know he's on Amazon because uh, I listened to it on there. I've got the CD, but if you got Amazon um, Music, you can find it on there. I'm sure you can find it on iTunes. I'm, I'm sure somewhere on YouTube Music as well. So check it out. I mean, if you got a chance, buy the CD. I mean, you know, it's always good to have something in your collection like this. So check it out. Um, but again, um, this is the first in a series of videos like this. So uh, I figured I'd just give some some uh, some notoriety to a fellow Jersey guy. Um, you know, Richie Sambora. Um, so, uh, you know, let me know what your thoughts are. Have you, have you heard this album before? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Um, you know, what were your takeaways? And then over time, you know, I have got a few others I, I have in mind that I want to talk about as well that were, again, influences in some way. It, it doesn't have to be, again, it, it's not cover to cover, but there was something on there that, or something that they played on, on you know, one of their CDs that, um, was really an influence, you know, whether it's the electric guitar, the acoustic guitar, uh, and it just kind of opened your mind and it opened my mind to, to different things about the instrument. So, uh, you know, like, like the video, subscribe for more, you know, videos like this, uh, hit the bell, as my daughter would say, smash that bell, whatever, you know, uh, <laughs> but, but definitely, you know, um, you know, let me know what your thoughts are. And, uh, as I do more of these, you'll get notifications on this and hopefully, you know, it helps you just kind of open your mind a little bit to, to different things that are out there. All right. So thanks very much for checking this out and we'll see you soon.